everyone, Lord Tremendous here. Got another battle report here for you. This is game two of the Louisiana State Tournament thing. Uh, battle report number 24. Tis I, Lord Tremendous of the Thousand Suns, versus George Morgan of the Space Marines, and he's playing the Salamanders flavor. This list is just titanium wrapped in lead, coated in stainless steel. It's one of the hardest lists I've ever had to face up against, and uh, it's a pretty one-sided fight, so <laughs> sit back, relax, and get ready to lament, because this game is a doozy. Here's my list, and there's been no change from the previous battle report because that would be cheating. This is a thousand sons of tremendous. I have Aramon as my warlord. He's got the black staff of Aramon, the frag and crack grenades, and an infernal bolt pistol. I've got a sorcerer on a disc with a plasma pistol and a force sword. I've got a unit of ten Zangors with auto pistols, chain swords, and an instrument of chaos. Then I got a unit of nine Rubik Marines with eight Warp Flamers, and the Sorcerer has a Force Sword and a Warp Flame Pistol. They're all contained inside of a Chaos Rhino, which has a Combo Bolter slapped on it for some reason. I've got a second unit of ten Rubik Marines this time, with eight Infernal Bolters, a Soul Reaper Cannon, and the Sorcerer has a Warp Flame Pistol and a Force Axe. And I have a third unit of Rubik Marines, ten by, with eight Infernal Bolters, a Soul Reaper Cannon, and the Sorcerer has a Force Staff and an Infernal Bolt Pistol. Then I have a unit of five Scarab Occult Terminators with three Infernal Combo Bolters, four Power Swords, a Soul Reaper Cannon, and the Sorcerer has a four Staff and an Infernal Combo Bolter. And then I've got my favorite model, my Renegade Knight, Lord Tremendous. He's got Titanic Feet, a pair of Rapid Fire Battle Cannons, and three Heavy Stubbers, because mainly they're free. And, uh, yeah, just a kick-ass attitude when it comes to shooting people off the table. That's going to do it for my list. I'm going to post my opponent's list, play some music. Feel free to pause it whenever you like. See what he took. deployment and it was uh quarters so i'm in the bottom left corner he's in the upper right corner and as you can see he's got a metric ton of long-ranged ass kickery yeah yeah not thrilled not thrilled about this at all uh i looked at it and i thought you know what i think if i can get into close combat if i can send my terminators in if i can get some stuff into combat quick i should be able to deal with the tarantulas and hopefully get a hold of the razorbacks and stuff like that and chew through him uh i knew that the tarantulas were what's it called immovable or or something like that they're basically they can't move but, uh, well, we'll get into that later. It's just, this is going to be a very uphill battle for me. He's got me outgunned, out-talented, and just outdone completely. He, of course, has the Captain Lieutenant Chapter Master thing where he gets to re-roll everything because, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, I'm looking at this and I'm just trying to figure out how I have a chance in hell. But, it's still, it's a game, so let's play it. So my entire strategy revolved around me going first, and I did. I won the roll to go first, and then he stole the initiative. Yeah. Yeah. Not 
not good at all. So here's top of one, and yeah, he doesn't really move. He really can't. He's boxed himself in. The terrain is in the way. He's got models in the way. He's got all the tarantula turrets in the way. He really can't move, which is fine. He doesn't friggin' need to. He's gonna just eat my lunch. We kick off the shooting phase, because nothing was in range for his psychic phase, and Lord Tremendous takes a wound right off the bat. The turrets start opening up and drop one of my uh, Rubik Marines that are in the terrain right there. Uh, handily, no, not terrible. And then his Razorbacks open up, and all of them have LAS cannons, plasma guns, hunter killer missiles. I just have nothing. And as you can see, Tremendous takes about 18 wounds, something insane. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 wounds total. It's. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm screwed. And then he throws a few shots at the uh, Zangors, dropping two of them. Which, honestly, in the grand scheme, isn't a huge big deal. That brings us over to bottom of one after movement, and I do bring some stuff up. The uh, Rhino with the Marines in it comes up. Lord Tremendous stays back where he's at because he's got range, although he's, he's hurting real bad right now. Uh, the Zangor's kind of back out of their range there. Uh, my Sorcerer comes up trying to use the terrain to hide himself. It's not going to work. Uh, and the Terminators come down to try to get into the, uh, what's it called? The, the turrets, the tarantulas or whatever, just so that I can start wailing away at them and whittling them down. I need to get a hold of them, and I need to kill them as soon as possible. Uh, I should have probably moved my Rubik Marines on the bottom up. It was really poorly placed. It was really poorly aimed. Uh, but honestly, um, I'm so frustrated at losing first turn that my head is up my ass. I mean, to be completely honest with you, I'm not thinking. Uh, I'm, I'm upset that my, my plans were so screwed up, and so I'm, I'm completely fucking this up. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. And uh, that's it for my movement. In the psychic phase, uh, my Terminator Sorcerer is able to get uh, Smite off on the closest Tarantula and does a single wound to it, which, you know, it's got to start somewhere. Even after burning a command point, though, I still perils of the warp. Ah, <sighs> my sorcerer dies. He's only got a wound. Or he's got two wounds, but it, it does enough where it kills him, because I do three wounds to myself, of course. And then I luck out and only do a single wound to the unit from the exploding corpse. <laughs> uh, not only am I playing terrible, but the dice gods have decided to play with my soul. It's fine. I've been here before. In the shooting phase, I open up on the tarantula turrets in the middle there, and I'm able to put three wounds on one, because it is what it is. Then my Rubik Marines fire at him, and one wound gets done. One wound. So I kill a single tarantula turret. I know. I know. I need to calm down. Lord Tremendous opens up on the turrets, and does three wounds. Total to one. I know. I know. I'm really being mean to my opponent. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Oh well. And then in the assault phase, my Terminators try to assault the closest fucking turrets, which are nine inches away, and I roll a six, and then I roll a seven. I'm not able to do anything. I'm not able to make it. And when he overwatches, he's able to kill a Terminator. That's right, he flat out kills a Terminator with his Overwatch. The hits just keep on coming. So, yeah, that's going to bring us over here to top of two after movement, and really there's still none. Uh, he's still traffic jammed pretty good. I think he shuffles around a couple of infantry guys, but for the most part, he doesn't have to move. He's got me dead to rights. He's outplaying me, and uh, you got to give it to him. He kicks off his shooting phase with the uh, Razorbacks, a few of them, opening up the Chaos Rhino, which was expected, I guess. Uh, he blew it open quite handily, and I think I lose one or two of the uh, Rubik Marines inside, and they kind of shuffle over to the right there. We'll see what happens. Some friendly shooting at my Terminator slips a wound through, killing one that was already wounded, and that's fine. He was miserable. Some more shooting at the Terminator, sees another one take a wound. It's a lot of shots, armor's only so good, you know? And then I believe his turrets start opening up, uh, dropping one of my Rubik Marines, which, again, can, all things considered, isn't terrible, but it's all those rerolls, man. Rerolling the hit, rerolling the wound, I just, it's like he can't fail. Another unit of turrets opens up on the Rubik Marines, killing three more. 
And just to jump to the end of the page, enough shooting happens at the Rubik Marines that they're all dead. Every last one of them, and there was nothing I could do about it other than pick them up. With nothing else convenient to shoot at, they open up on my Terminators with something. I think the guy's in the tower back there and kill another one. And then, long story short, the other guy, I think, just kills himself. I don't think it was my opponent at all. I think the guy just opened up on his own head with his Infernal Combo Bolter. I don't blame him. So, here's bottom of two after movement, and yeah, we all see the writing on the wall. We all know what's going to happen. I, I don't know what to do. I literally don't know what I can do here. <laughs> I'm sitting here, and for a long time, I'm looking at my models, and I'm like, I'm completely out of position. I don't have the movement to get there. If I leave terrain, I might as well just pick up the models. I don't know what to do, so... I freeze. I mean, there's the there's no other way to put it. I, I got nothing. Lord Tremendous backs up a little bit to get out of range of his Razorbacks, which, for whatever that's worth. Uh, the Zangors move up to try to keep the terrain between them and the guns, and the Rubrics stay in the terrain. My only hope is to maybe salvage some points at the end of the game, because I really screwed this one up, and instead of getting points every turn, I decided I would get points at the end of the game. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, literally... I, I look at this game, I look at my movement, I look at the slides, and I, I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. I was making a lot of mistakes. And my opponent couldn't help but capitalize on it, you know? So, it is what it is. I apologize for shitty playing. We go into the shooting phase, Lord Tremendous opens up on the tarantulas, and I'm able to kill one. I do three wounds in total. That's it. Everything else either fails to hit, fails to wound, or he makes his saves. In the uh, psychic phase, I wasn't able to roll a five or better on 2d6. It was uh, just the stars aligning for me to fail. <laughs> Uh, don't get me wrong, I take full responsibility. I know this is 100% me playing like crap, but uh, it, it doesn't make it any less painful. <laughs> So here's top of three after movement. Yeah, I just couldn't do anything. And uh, he kind of moves a little bit. It gets a little shady here. I'm not going to lie to you. He's trying to move his models through other models. And even the guy who was running the tournament was kind of like, hey, you can't do that. Uh, I think he was playing a little fast and loose with the movement. And yeah, I know, I know. I should have argued. I should have told him to stop. I didn't. I told him to stop the first time. He did it again. And I looked at it and I was like, you know what? I'm not in my store. I'm not in, in in my element. I'm going to lose this game. His loose and fast with the movement isn't really going to change that outcome. What's the point in having an argument or, or starting a fight or any kind of ugliness with this? So, yes, if you see some shady movement, you're probably right. Some things probably got shifted around that shouldn't have. It really doesn't matter. Uh, it. I was going to lose this game anyway, so... It is what it is. I allowed it. I was okay with it. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, you see his Razorbacks moving through his infantry and stuff like that and, and all that. And it is what it is. It is what it is. So the Razorbacks that moved up were able to target Lord Tremendous and they drop him like a bad habit. Which, again, this was going to happen regardless. Uh, some guys can see my sorcerer on a disc and put four wounds through on him, so he's probably not long for this world. <laughs> Since my opponent's running out of targets, uh, he's got the Zangors and he drops a couple of them. I think that was the Tarantula turrets. And then some other turrets take interest in the Rubik Marines and drop three of them. No problem. And then the Tarantula launchers over here could see them, I guess, and was able to drop another one. Not bad shooting. In the morale phase, one of my Rubik Marines has decided he's had enough and runs his ashy butt back home. And the Zangor sees uh, the Rubik Marine run and decides that he can run a lot faster than him and goes to prove it. That's going to bring us to my bottom of three here, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've lost. I know I've lost. I just can't concede. So instead, I'm going to make him try to move. Uh, my Rubik Marines, the remaining ones that I have, uh, fall back into the center there to uh, hold the objective. Aramon falls back with them because there's just no purpose in me staying out there anymore. The rubrics inside the tower stay inside the tower, and the Zangors and everything else try to stay in uh, the shade of the terrain to try to not get shot anymore, and I believe the Sorcerer moves up because he wants to die a hero. That is it for my movement. 
In the psychic phase, my sorcerer on a disc is able to smite one of his little infantry guys on the terrain off and kills him. Uh, and that's it. Shooting does nothing, and when I try to assault, I fail. He doesn't kill me, but I, I don't make it. And that's it. I couldn't do anything else. Here's top of four after movement, and his Razorbacks come flying through the uh, alleyways there, because he... Uh, yeah, he's got to in order to, to get a hold of me and stuff like that. He realizes that, so the, the infantry on the right start coming through no problem. And yeah, it's just a matter of how many models can I survive with before the end of the game. We go into a shooting phase, and he opens up on my sorcerer, killing him easily. Some more high-velocity rounds go flying through my Zangors, dropping at least two of them. And then a series of walls of metal that get shot at my Zangors finish off the other three. It's fine. And that brings us over to bottom of four. Nothing happens in my turn. I know I've lost this game. There's nothing I can do. Uh, I do shoot with the guys in the tower at his Razorback just because. Uh, it's the only guys I can see, the only guys that are in range. I do nothing to it. Not a damn thing. Nothing else has line of sight or is in range, so that's the end of my turn. Here's top of five after movement. The Razorbacks come forward, the infantry come forward, everything comes forward because he wants to table me, and it's totally understandable. Uh, like I said, as you can see, everything's coming forward, some things are, are accelerating at the speed of light, it is what it is, and that's it for his movement. Everything that can shoots at the Rubik Marines inside the tower, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven die. I think I use a couple of command points to auto pass the morale check, and that's it for this turn. Here's bottom of five, and just like bottom of four, I've got no play. Uh, I don't move or anything like that. The guys inside the tower shoot at the Ryan L or the Razorbacks because that's all I got, and once again, I'm able to do exactly nothing to them. Nothing. So that's it for my turn. Uh, we do end up going in the turn six, so here's top of six after movement, and the Razorbacks are just surrounding the tower now. <laughs> he wants to kill them, and honestly, he's probably going to. It's a lot of shots they're about to take. And yeah, yeah, in his shooting phase, he takes out the last three Rubik Marines, no problem. I'm actually surprised that the tower is still there. I gotta be totally honest. The amount of energy that was just thrown into that building um might have been enough to kindle a new star i'm not 100 on that <laughs> we go to the bottom of six but i don't do anything and we end the game honestly at this point i just wanted it to be over <laughs> i was just i can i can take it with the best of them but at this point it was just so much i was just okay listen it's it's i'm not doing anything it doesn't go to turn seven it didn't go to turn seven and i was relieved the game was over i'm not gonna lie so it is it's uh it's over that's what it looks like at the end of the game and man this this was a punch in the face that uh i guess i guess i had coming i, I don't know <laughs> it's, this hurt this hurt pretty bad. Uh, just I, my piss poor playing had a ton to do with this. A hundred percent. I was outgunned, outskilled. I made a ton of mistakes. Uh, him stealing the initiative completely took the thunder out of all of the plans that I had. This was just disaster from the get go. Cool army though. Very cool army. Uh, just unfortunately, he had my number from uh, the start and. Uh, it is what it is. We'll get to the recap in a second ago, because thank God this game is over. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. So, guys and gals, as you've seen, after you wipe all the blood and dust and carnage off my models from getting a butt whooping like this, they are actually gorgeous. They are painted to an incredible standard, and if you know anything about me, you know I had nothing to do with it. I can't paint to save my life. Luckily, I have a friend called Big Tom from Big Tom Painting, and he paints all of my models for me, and as you can see, they are exquisite. So if you have unpainted models, or models that you're ashamed of, or models that you would just like to finally be proud of the field on the table, even if you have to take a butt whooping like this, please send Big Tom an email, tell him what you got, tell him what you're looking for, and field models that are going to blow your opponent's mind. Tell him Tremendous sent you, you won't regret it.
So, yeah, this was a crushing defeat for Lord Tremendous. I ended up getting five objective points. My opponent got 17. I was able to earn three primary objective points, zero secondary, and two of the, uh, what's it called? third objectives or whatever, my opponent earned nine max points for primary, four from secondary, which is max, and four from the uh, third, which is also max, I believe. Just ate my lunch. It is what it is. It was still a pretty good game. So I alluded to it in the beginning that getting first turn, getting to go first uh, was really a, a critical component of my uh, 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 deployment strategy and getting first turn taken from me just destroyed my plans and momentum. It was an eggs in one basket situation. I thought, you know, what are the odds? Apparently the odds were, were a little bit worse than I thought. So it was critical to my deployment and my strategy and it completely knocked me on my ass. Not that that makes my loss okay, that was completely stupid on my part to not adapt, but I never did. I never got off my ass, I never got my head out of there, and I earned this brutal, brutal defeat. My opponent did everything right. So yeah, 17 of those tarantula turrets were way more than I could handle. I, I really needed to get my terminators in there, I needed to get my warp flamers in there, and everything that I tried was half-assed and stupid and poorly uh, executed and was easily trumped. And that's exactly what happened. I just didn't have the skills, strategy, or models to deal with 17 turrets. Uh, the Razorback movement was, like I said, probably illegal, and I did say something at first, but then I realized it didn't really matter. And what's the point? What's the point in starting a big debate or a big fight or putting a bad taste in someone's mouth when it's not going to matter? Maybe if the game was closer, sure, but not even the dice gods could help me. I, I played really bad. So, I know, I know you saw some stuff that you're probably like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, it doesn't matter. I was cool with it, it is what it is. So, yeah, all in all, this was a seriously difficult game against a seriously difficult opponent, but you know what? In the end, I would welcome a rematch because I would like to see if I learned from this and was able to uh, do better, at least. I don't know if I could beat this list, uh, but I'd like to, a rematch just to see how I, I, I would fare with the knowledge that I have about it now. You know, I, I couldn't do any worse. <laughs> But that's going to do it, guys and gals. Battle Report number 24 is officially in the history books. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, feel free to put them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. But yeah, I know this was a rough one, but thanks.